Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Marjorie Hash and this week we're delving into the world of Sun, a band known for making drone metal. Now, don't be afraid of those words. Co-founder and visual artist Stephen O'Malley is here to talk us through it all. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, nice to be here. Andrew, this is lovely yeah, to have you. Yeah. Um, you've just tour finished touring two albums. Yeah. And uh, how has that been? You had three dates at uh, the Gaîté Lyrique here in Paris. We did. That was the end of the tour that started off in also in France last uh, March. Um, it was incredible. We had an incredible uh, year with live music and it's so important because it's the, the reality of the music is the live performance, the, the present, the actualization of it. And so we were able to connect a lot with the audience and the reception has been really positive from our fans and new fans and the press and you know media, everybody. It, it, was, it was really good, but now we're going into a kind of retreat phase where we figure out our next creative moves and mm. stuff like that, yeah. Um, the band, so just for people who are just discovering you today, um, originated in Seattle in 1998, mm. um, and you're known for uh, making this very pioneering sound that's heavy, mm. little of ambience, mm. lots of distorted guitars, mm -hmm. yet your fans are not just heavy metal fans, you've also got people from all kinds of horizons. Mm. Um, how do you think you've managed to, in over 20 years career, be so niche yet attract a variety of ears? I think it's, um, I've thought about this a lot because often I'm like, who are these people and why are we in these situations? Where are these opportunities coming from and why are people interested in this? And there's many, many answers, I think. But one of the main answers is because the music we play has a level of abstraction to it that allows a very subjective experience. So people who are passionate about having those experiences and like a, a, a very uh, intense uh, musical physicality sound experience they have a lot of space to reflect and think while they're in that in that in the concert setting or listening to our music and they can have very very different experiences from the same moment as someone else who's actually in that that space too so mm -hmm. it's um I, I consider what you know our our the path of what sun is been presented with or that we've traveled on to be super fortunate actually it's not it's certainly not by strategy yeah yeah so let's take a look at for people who are just discovering sun today uh, what it looks like live this was a teaser for the Gaîté Lyrique shows mm. dimension there of a sun or a live we talked about how the audience is engulfed in a distortion and saturation is so that's something that you set out from the start to do as a band well we come from greg anderson and i who founded the band we come from metal and punk and hardcore music so uh that that involves distorted guitars for example but the the way it's evo uh, the way it's evolved it's turned into kind of a phenomenological type of music and distortion and saturation i think are they they have more to do with like the experience of being in a profound natural setting or witnessing a a very very strong natural event like a deep one than they do with kind of a genre or image or a superficiality of metal music, for example. And, and lights and colors, there's mm -hmm. like lots of hot pinks and uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, heavenly or heavenly blues and kind of hellish reds and you know, mm -hmm. kind of get transported. The radiance play a lot of huge role in this performance with the smoke. Radiance is a good word. In, in 2009, we made a record called Monoliths and Dimensions and that record was heavily inspired and informed by several composers, actually many French composers, Gerard Grisey, Tristan Morai, and other people in this kind of area is roughly known as spectralist music. And um, I think the word spectral is very important with our music, with light, sound, and um, the experience as well. So we've there, there are many frequencies in the world, you know, and then there's many less frequencies that we can actually perceive with light, sound, 
infrared, uh, ultraviolet, and these these types of things, and radio waves. Yeah. I'd, li I'd like to also to talk about um, your cloaks because they're uh, an integral part to the show. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us more about them? We started out um, in a situation where we weren't really moving much on stage. It wasn't really entertaining for the audience. And there was some pretty heavy negative feedback in the old days. And uh, so we decided to kind of veil ourselves. But what's happened over 15 years is it's turned into, it's a lot of catalyst for a, a real kind of ceremonial aspect to the music that I think is really natural, actually. Mm -hmm. It's not a, it, it brings aspects of theater into what we do, but I think it touches on much older human collective social uh, experience mm -hmm. uh, memory as well. And you're American, yet uh, you've been living in France for over a decade now. Yeah. Uh, you're very involved with French culture. Uh, yeah. I've seen you've like done workshops with uh, people, at students at Les Beaux-Arts. Yeah. Uh, you've worked with choreographers, but also notably recently uh, a certain Yann Thiersen, who's very famous oh, right. yeah. for uh, the Amélie Poulain or yeah. Amélie soundtrack. Yeah. Um, and you went to his island in Brittany to work on yeah. his album. Can you tell uh, us? Il de Wasson. Uh, um, that's a beauty about music. That's, that's something beautiful about music. You can connect with people on... Uh, just out of this passion of like encountering this really, really intense and and essential experience of making music. Mm -hmm. And uh, with Jan, it was like that. Uh, at first, I was like, what am I going to do? Just play some like distorted guitars on your beautiful piano piece? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Bring it and on. then we went to the studio. And I mean, it's just an incredible place to be. The, the, uh, the island and, and the studio was amazing. We had a great connection creatively. Yeah, I, I, I've worked with a lot of French artists in different fields. It's been really enriching in my overall life. And that's affected Sun too. Yeah, and, yeah. and very briefly, can you tell us what's the plan now that you've finished the tour and those two Sun records, are probably, like what's what's next for, for you? For me? Well, I do a lot of other music besides Sun as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been commissioned for writing for other people and um, there's other collaborations I'm, I'm working on with, with other musicians. Um, I'd like to take more, I'm, I'm a, one of my missions is to create more space for reflection in my own creative process this year. Yeah. It was just quite full on for uh, about two and a half years between writing, producing, and touring the last two albums. And a well-deserved rest is on the way. Maybe not a rest, but there's a cycle. It's like a sinus wave. And, you know, there's different phases in that cycle we, we go through with, with that project. Okay. Mm. We've got a little cycle here where we like to look at the new music uh, yeah. news here. Um, yeah, you've been good. in France for a while. Um, what's your take on the uh, Victoire de la Musique? Do you ever care about them? They're the, the French equivalent to the Grammy Awards. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm really disconnected from this award ceremony mm -hmm. stuff. There's uh, one of my one of my good friends and collaborators recently won uh, a lot of these kinds mm -hmm. of awards in the U.S., Hildur Goodnadotter. And um, I was paying more attention this year. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's a huge thing, but the French one, I, I mean, I know about the Césars and stuff, but I don't really follow that kind of accreditation. Uh, well, here's a little rundown of what happened this Friday. Um, uh, well, this year, as usual, so the nominations and the results were super safe and, dare I say, a little bit bland. Uh, there are actually some exciting artists here in France, which we try to feature on the France 24 show. Uh, French hip-hop brothers PNL, who gained fans across the world, got best video for their stint up the Eiffel Tower. Françoise Hardy inspired Clara Luciani, who won Best Newcomer last year was teary-eyed when she received Best Female for the same album Sainte Victoire, while well, funny man Philippe Catherine got Best Male, and he lamented the fact that the awards are still gendered. And last but not least, the very pretty Belgian pop star Angèle, who was one of the big favourites in the end, made off with only one award for Best Live Show. You can catch her this week in Paris, where she's playing a stadium for five or four nights in a row. Canadian anti-pop artist and producer Grimes, who is currently expecting her first child with a certain Elon Musk is this week officially releasing her fifth studio album Miss Anthropocene, a loose concept album about the goddess of climate change which explores the personification of the villain. Sonically, some of the tracks have a little new metal undertone. Let's check out her latest single, Delete Forever. <laughs>
Grimes there with uh, one of her latest tracks. And uh, some of the news is coming up in just a few minutes on France 24. Remember, you can find all our culture stories on our website. And don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Stephen O'Malley from Sun, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. for having me. Today. Yeah. Um, I take it you're a big um, Black Sabbath fan. Yes, and you've any albums in particular that mark that you I always say sabotage but you know it goes back and forth depending on the uh, time of day time of year mm -hmm. the mood yeah, no, no, it's, it has to. That's Black Sabbath. Yeah. Well, frontman Ozzy Osbourne is back this week uh, with a new uh, album, and it's his 12th studio album. Despite being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease a year ago, the new record is called Ordinary Man and features collaborations with Slash and Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses, Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Rage Against the Machines, Tom Morello, and Elton John. He is the single Straight Out of Hell. <laughs> Straight to Hell. I'll make you defecate. <laughs> 